hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Maison african motives in this platform we shall be focusing on how to sketch graphs uh, for mathematics and three uh, native engineering so if you're new to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having uh, working on question papers and revisions so uh, quickly rushing through the question paper we are given to sketch the graphs of the following equations in the answer book each graph must be drawn on its system of axes all values of the points of intersection with the systems of axes be shown name the type of the graph below each sketch okay so you are supposed also to name the typical graph that you are actually having okay so let's say the first part that we are having we have the equation from the first part here which is a 3.21 we are given the equation actually of uh, x squared over 25 uh, plus y squared over 9 which is equivalent to 1 so in this case uh, actually we know that whenever you have to sketch the graph what you actually need is to have uh, the x intercepts and the y intercepts if possible because here we can see that we have a square and the square so you're going to have the x intercepts and we are also going to have uh, the y intercepts okay so what are we going to have for the x intercepts this is for a condition where y is equal to zero remember that so what you're going to actually do is to substitute in place of uh, y there we are going to have a zero so which means we shall remain with the uh, x squared over 25 which is equal to one okay because this is no longer there okay so you can actually cross multiply uh, this part and this part can multiply each other that is a uh, x squared is equal to 25 by 1 that is a 25 then we have the square root in order to remove the square take note about that to remove the square we have this put the square root so x is going to be square root of 25 from your calculator that's 5 but we must know that square root of n number is plus or minus so that means we are actually having two values when x is equal to 5 uh, y is equal to 0 and another point when x is equal to minus 5 y still as zero take note guys take note about this part that uh the value of y is still the same but for different values of x okay which is the same thing that you're going to have for the y intercepts this time x is equal to zero so take note about the y intercepts when x is equal to zero which means this one is now is zero so which means you're going to remain with the uh, y squared over 9 which is equal to 1 like this okay so still you can cross multiply just like the last part uh, that is y squared is equal to 9 times 1 which is 9 so to remove the square we have to put the square root so y will be equal to square root of 9 from your calculator is 3 but take note that square root of n number is what plus or minus 3 so that means we're going to have two possible points here on a condition that x is equal to 0 we have y which is equal to 3 and another y which is minus 3 when x is equal to 0 so technically a point is supposed to be written in terms of x followed by y like that that's a point guys okay so looking at the points these points they are actually different which means this is not a circle but this is going to be an ellipse so that is what you're going to have as the typical shape um so we must be having in mind the typical shape of an ellipse guys so this is going to be the y so on the x intercept that's where we are having five and uh, minus five that's five and minus five so you can just indicate actually minus five and positive five according to the scale that you shall be having then for the y intercept you have uh, minus three and plus three so this one can be actually something like this okay where we have plus three and minus three okay something like this so which means this is going to be an ellipse take note guys the shape of an ellipse something like this okay so these are the possible points minus five and a positive five 
minus 3 and uh, positive 3 these are the actually the important points that you are having for this uh, ellipse which is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 which is equal to 1 so you can actually write down the equation after you're done so if it was a circle these points were going to be the same uh, if this is 5 minus 5 this was supposed to be 5 and this is minus 5 when these points are actually the same as these ones then it's going to be a circle but when they are different it's now an ellipse okay so that's how you can actually differentiate between the two okay then the other one is um, y is equal to minus the square root of uh, 9 minus x squared okay how can we actually sketch this typical function because if you are to take note this graph that you are given it's uh, limited to the values of y when which are negative so the value of y is supposed to be a negative value only not the positive value so that means we can just have our y intercept let's see what we're going to have in this case for the y intercept uh, x will be equal to zero just like the previous part so when x is equal to zero in this case uh, what are we going to have we show you a zero there but remember our y is limited to the square root of the answer that you're going to have so in this case uh, that's a zero there so it's going to be nine minus which is uh, square root of nine which is a plus or minus three but we are limited only to minus so which means our y is going to be minus three on a condition that x is a zero y is minus three okay but uh, the x intercepts now they are not going to be affected by this part so take note about x intercepts guys they are not going to be affected any any way how because this is going to be y is equivalent uh, to minus the square root of nine minus x squared like this so you are now referring to a condition when y is equal to zero so when y is equal to zero like this we shall have zero is equal to minus the square root of nine minus x squared like this so definitely when you divide by this negative here this one is going to neutralize everything so remember the power of uh, the zero here that it's going to neutralize so that's how you are going to not be affected by this negative okay so in order for you to solve all this we can actually remove the square root by squaring both sides you square both sides or oh, which was the same effect there is it was going to give you the same thing so the moment you square here you're actually removing the square root okay so take note guys to square you're actually removing the square root so you're going to remain with nine minus x squared okay so now you want to find the values of x so you can actually take this minus transpose to the other side so that it can be positive that's x squared is equal to nine then uh, square root to remove the square so x will be equal to so take note this is not a limited value so you're going to have plus or minus three that is two possible values of x it can be plus three or it can be minus three so on a condition that x is three we can see that y is zero at that moment and uh, it can be minus three when y is equal to zero like that so these are the most important points that you actually that you actually need uh, but if you understand the graph that you are working with all these workings that uh, we are doing here they are not even important or necessary you can actually write these points direct but because i just want you to see how you can actually obtain these provided maybe you have uh, you are in exam and you don't know the shorter ways of doing this you can actually apply this a uh, longer way okay so what type of a graph is this you will see that this is uh, actually a semicircle let's represent and see uh, let's just have our Cartesian plane you actually see that this is a semicircle how okay remember the x inter intercepts here we have a uh, 3 0 and uh, minus 3 0 like that these are the x intercepts uh, this is minus 3 and uh, this is positive 3 just assuming according to the graph that you're having we have a uh, y there which is 0 minus 3 okay which is the y intercept so 0 minus 3 can be somewhere like this so as we can see if we are to join this we are going to formulate a semicircle why because we have a uh, same distance from the origin here from all 
to this point there's three there are three units from this point to this point three units from this point to this point three units so that means this is actually a circle this is actually a circle that uh, a semicircle i mean uh, this from this because it's limited to minus so if it, we did not have this minus it was going to be a complete circle but now it's just a half circle so this one is just a semicircle okay so a semicircle you are simply referring to a half circle okay so that is the type of the graph that we are given there so that's how you actually sketch a semicircle if it was a full circle which means you're going to have a complete now uh, from the point three like this it was going to give us a complete circle okay so let's see the other type of graph that we are given in this case we are asked to sketch y is equal to minus one over x okay what type of a, a graph is this one because this is what we are supposed to ask ourselves uh, what type of a function is this one okay so here we are actually referring to a hyperbola uh, whenever you are given a negative like this this is uh, this one you just know you can just know the shape uh, from this equation remember when x y is equal to negative a like this the shape is going to be in the other region this one the negative negative here and a negative on the other side or it can be x y is equal to positive a we are now having it in this region and in this region okay so here you can actually cross multiply to obtain this part here so if you cross multiply it's x times y here which is x y is equal to 1 times minus 1 which is minus 1 okay so as we can see we are now in this format here which is the same format so it's going to be in this region and we have another one in this region where these are the asymptotes the x-axis which is the line of y is equal to zero is your asymptote and this your y-axis which is x is equal to zero is also your asymptote okay so this will be the graph of uh, x y which is equal to minus one the one that we are given as y is equal to what minus uh, one minus one over x so what i'm simply saying guys is that when you are given to sketch a hyperbola like this it's given in this format okay a like this when it when it is a positive like this your graph is going to be in the first quadrant and in the last and in the third quadrant like this this is how your graph is going to look like okay when it is a positive a so this equation here can also be written as y is equal to a over x like this is still one and the same thing as we can see okay so this separately can be uh, y is equal to minus a over x which is the same thing as x y is equal to minus a when it is a negative like this you are going to have your graph represented like this okay this is uh, now in this quadrant like this in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant like this so taking note that the x-axis and the y-axis they are the asymptotes so this graph is not going to cross the x-axis it's just going to be like this not crossing or being part of the x-axis so that's how uh, actually they give you these uh, typical graphs you are sketching the graph guys so what you need is the, is the knowledge of the graph that you are sketching are you working with a quadratic graph are you working with an inverse function are you working with a logarithmic function a circle a half circle you need to know the properties but for all the other graphs that you are going to have it's all about uh, the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts but for a hyperbola uh, it's actually something that doesn't do with the x-intercepts if you are given in this format for the syllabus that we are having this is actually the format that they will give you so for this format you just need to know the shape it's about the, it's about the shape so this a can be 5 can be 10 the shape is going to be the same this minus a can be minus 7 can be minus 10 the shape is going to be the same so what you need is just to know the shape on the type of the equation that you are given and the corresponding shape once you know that then you are done 
uh, when you're working with a hyperbola. So that's it, guys, from Amazon African Motives, working on Mathematics uh, N3 for Native Engineering. Make sure that you subscribe, guys, if you're new, so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having, and also to share our videos to our friends and colleagues so that they also become part of the family Amazon African Motives. So that's it till we meet again.